Hi, thanks for tuning in to watch my Steam Party how-to videos. In this video we're going to talk about level transitions. And we're going to continue from our last video where we were setting up the player controller and the main menu. So let's go ahead and open the main menu up here. Now for, uh, actually I have a change of heart on how I want to do the main menu because might as well work smarter not harder. So what I'm going to do is actually go in here and de delete everything that has already been made. So we'll delete this on the designer menu. And then what I want to do is open up my Steam Party uh, example and uh, go over to its designer. And then what I can do, it's pretty handy that you can actually cut and copy between the UMG widgets across projects, as long as it's the same engine version, of course. So I'll go ahead and select all of these. It's important to select the whole hierarchy, not just the, uh, the parent. So the whole hierarchy, uh, we'll right click, we'll copy, and we'll come over here and we'll right click or paste. Cut, uh, bada boom, look, we have everything all ready, ready to go. And uh, we have all of our buttons, our borders. Basically, we have our text main menu, our play button. Uh, we also have an X button so we can actually exit the game. And then we uh, have a, um, a new border called join a game. Now, this is so. Uh, whenever we're waiting for the, the connection to start loading up to the game, we can display a notification, hey, we're joining the game, so just hang on one second and, uh, you know, give them some information instead of just a stall. So that is uh, all copied over pretty quickly that way. And we'll hit, go ahead and save it. And the next thing is it will do, go to the event graph. So we'll go here and uh, we're going to do exactly the same thing. We're going to go over and we're going to open the Steam Party up again and we're going to go to the event graph. Now we'll go to the, um, what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and copy everything, right? Except for that tick, uh, copy, and then come over to here and hit, hit paste. Now, yes, that was pretty dirty, but hey, it works, right? Um, it's a quick way to get all the information you need to do the uh, level transitioning. So let's go ahead and go over some of the things here and if there's any errors. So go ahead and save. We do have one error, so let's look what that error is. I see down here. Okay, well that error is basically, um, we're trying to uh, get a player controller that I have named differently in the uh, example project. So we'll delete this, and I'll delete that out. Get owning player, and then we'll need to get uh, PC, no oh, cast to, cast to PC menu, there we go. Now, once we have that, we can go ahead and fill in the rest of the, the uh, nodes, which was to simply destroy the party, destroy party panel, and then uh, create party panel. Those were the functions we created in the uh, player controller from a previous uh, video or two previous videos ago. All right. So uh, basically, yeah, this is just, uh, it says it's simpler to destroy and recreate than reset everything. Sometimes that's the case instead of having a reset script to reset all the variables. It's sometimes it's cleaner to cut it off and uh, create a whole new variable from scratch. All right, so we'll go ahead and save it. Everything compiled. It is a happy camper, so we can move on. So that was uh, really quick. Uh, let's go ahead and discuss what we're, what we did here. So in the very beginning, we go to the event uh, construct. So whenever this gets constructed, if the UI panel, um, is set right um, it can uh, be bound to the party status update event so what we want to do basically is the uh, the play menu here should only really be hit by the um, the party host and of course hang on one second turn off my phone um, once the uh, the party host uh, becomes a party host, they have options to, to play the game and everybody else does not, so it will disable that button. Now, you can all, always design it specifically for your game if you want to have some wild, wild west <laughs> adventure where anybody can start the game from any point. It's a possibility. You'd have to write the code in for that. So let's go back to the graph. So what it does is uh, based on the party status, uh, it's going to either set that button enabled or, or disabled. So we'll go ahead and move down. The, the nice thing about copying over from the example is you get all the events already named up and connected for you. So it's very helpful and uh, quicker to get you up and running. So then whenever we actually hit the play button, uh, it's going to talk to Steam uh, Beacon Game Instance and then get the party and then host a game through the uh, Game Instance. It's going to take all the dirty work uh, care for you. Uh, what's what's happening is uh, when we before we host the game, the the way that 
Steam works is that we say, hey, we have a request. And we send that request to Steam, and then it's asynchronous, so we have to wait for a response uh, back from them. Uh, so that has a variable time. So we can't literally go to the next node right after host because it could be some time delay before that, that session is created to join. So what we do is this event. So in the uh, Steam Beacon game instance, it will actually send the call out, and then whenever the uh, on the session is created and completed, it'll call back and, okay, yes, create session completed. Let's move on. We're all set on the Steam side. Let's go ahead and start opening the level up. And here's where we will actually open the level. And uh, for my level, it's actually, um, it's going to be fly, flying example. I'll just copy the name real quick and come over here and change it to our current map. Uh, the other important thing to remember is this needs to be a listen server here, of course. And, um, and then once it starts opening the level up and everything's taken care of automatically in the engine and then we change the input mode to uh, game so we uh, don't have a menu control anymore then so then once that's complete it, it'll bring over the uh, the party people also uh, let's see here now if we click cancel it's basically leave the party and um, it sets the visibility of all the buttons back correctly to uh, if you now if you're not in a party your 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 play game should be highlighted again and we destroy any of the panels that we don't want to have displayed uh, and then finally our quit button so it's pretty straightforward uh, the other thing we need to go to is go to the show loading screen and put the guts in there so let's do that all right so I'll go do the same thing quick and dirty I'll go over here show loading screen and I will copy this bad boy copy and paste all right that was pretty straightforward and so now what we need to do is actually do some test Get rid of this over here and um, close out the main menu. And it's really time to uh, put our cookies in the basket and see if it takes off. All right, so I'll go ahead and close it down and open our folder up. And we need to actually make sure Steam is up and running, and I am not. I'm going to go ahead and log in real quick. Let me log in. All right, so now I'm logging in. And uh, come on, Steam. Come on, Steam. All right, I am logged in. So that's pretty important step two. We've got to make sure we're logged in. And then we can go ahead and click on Air Battle, right click, and launch game. Though it's possible, you know what? We need to go back in there. There's one more setting that needs to be set up before we actually launch the game. So instead of um, waiting for that to air off we do need to go set the map preference that we want to load up first so that's pretty important we made the map menu um the, uh, and then we have the main menu map we need to make that the default see the editor started with the the other map too so i need to go to edit project settings and maps and modes and the editor startup map now i want it to be the main menu and then i also want the game default to be the main menu so whenever we are running the game it'll be correct so there we go now we can close that down and right click to launch the game and as the game is being launched we'll keep our fingers crossed that we'll see a notification from steam in the lower right hand corner And we do have that notification, so we know if I hit shift tab, the overlay is working. Great, we're connected. And now let's see if I can hit my button. Uh, kaboom, now I have friends that I can play with. Hopefully, if they have the same game I have, of course, because I'd have no preference of what I show you here. Because some of these games, if you uh, send invite, can send an invite to play a game, even though they don't have the game on, and pull them into the game with you. So that's pretty cool that you can do that in Steam. Um, that, there's some implement uh, that usually is uh, on by default. So as long as you have presence uh, enabled, which is on by default, uh, dedicated servers is a little different because it doesn't use presence; it uses a, a different system. Um, and then uh, we'll go down and we can sit there and you know click on them to send them an invite. But I'm I'm not going to send these people an invite um, just yet. So we'll go ahead and test the other aspects. We'll. Uh, show you how to distribute this game next and make sure it all works all right so I could talk to myself hello yes I'll talk to myself and uh, I have my party options and then let's see if I hit play game it'll actually take me into the the level and I am playing my level all right awesome so it did take me into the map transition 
Uh, the only problem I have now is I have no way to get back to the main menu, so I need to be able to exit the game. So let's do that somehow. So right now if I hit escape, there's nothing. So I'm going to fix that up uh, in the next video. Uh, if you have any questions so far of what you've seen, please leave a message or comment below, and I'll answer those the best I can. And again, thanks for watching. Bye.